Welcome to CEW Football Saturday, presented by Verizon. Fifth ranked Rebels to take on the Wake Forest Demon Deacon sellout crowd homecoming weekend here in Winston Salem. Henry Parrish Jr. in the backfield, standing alongside of Dart. On a first down, they play thinking they're going to throw. And the catch is made on the far side, all the way across midfield. And it's Caden Lee. There's a lot of design runs, but they know that he is an NFL talent at the, in the pocket. Doesn't have to run. Parrish's first carry cuts it back to the middle of the field and into the end zone. That is a touchdown for Henry Parrish Jr. And man, oh man, a gain of 25 to the end zone. Bang, bang. Much running room, if any at all. It'll bring up a third down. No gain on the play. And the stop made by Walter Nolan. They're the top scoring team in the country, the number one ranked offense in the country, and you're seeing why. And lunging forward inside the 35 yard line. So less than a yard. And look at the big fella. Holy Moses. Up and over the top, and that is indeed a first down. Pegues, good lord. Ooh, bang. You want to hit that train? <laughs> and now you look up on the board, it's under four minutes to go in the first quarter, and it's only a seven to three game. All day to throw, and it's another touchdown here. I mean, blown coverage as blown coverage can get. And a touchdown for Ole Miss. My goodness. In place of those guys. A third down, and the slant, it is caught. And inside the 25, down to the 21 is Wells. And they're running this play clock all the way down to one. You'll never see Ole Miss do that the rest of the year. And they hand it off, huge hole for Parrish. Inside the five, and a second touchdown of the game for Henry Parrish, Jr. For it, but sitting at home you might think hey show the ref exactly what's happening 32 yard field goal try by davis is good and, and now he's a spread up tempo guy credit him for reinventing himself with the times of college football and he's found himself right here in national contention you know, only thing stopping that is they don't get in the way what Bachmeyer is just smothered Chris Paul Jr. was there, and they're going to have to snap it before the two-minute timeout. Play clock down to five, and here they come after Bachmeyer. He's trying to spin away from trouble, but a host of white jerseys wrap him up, taking us to the two-minute timeout. All right, third down and 11. They need to get to the eight-yard line for a first down, and they're going to run it to Claiborne. Again, he is wrapped up, tripped up. That was quite a play right there. Made by Chris Paul Jr. Fourth down and goal. Bachmeyer hanging in the pocket. Throws to the end zone. It's incomplete. And the drive stalls inside the five yard line. It's into the backfield. As a penalty makes an automatic first down, they fake it to Jones and throw it right down the middle of the field. And the catch is made down to the 31 yard line by Caden Lee. First down and 10. Ole Miss with the ball. Parrish. They think it to him, big hit on the quarterback who delivers a strike to Harris. Another first down to the 11-yard line for the Rebels. The way Ole Miss likes to play. And the quarterback keeper, wide open field in front of him. And look at that power running all the way into the end zone for Jackson Dart. My, oh my, is that impressive. Scampers 13 yards for the touchdown. On fourth down. Such great coverage. 26 yard field goal try for Davis, who's missed an extra point tonight for the first time in two years. And this one is good to make it a 33 to 6 game with 8.02 to go. Split in half, which they were excited for Hank Bachmeyer to really get in the, in the, in the fold of this game. But Michael Kern is certainly a really passer. Clark the third was the one who had a big gain on that play and then he coughed it up and the Rebels have recovered it. They will play a ranked team on the road 
at Death Valley. And that is no easy place to play. And I was impressed with uh, Garrett Nussmeyer. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Antoine Wells Jr. with an unbelievable catch for a touchdown. They call him Juice. And my, oh, my. Here's some juice for you. Oh, baby, we're seeing the arm strength from Jackson Dart. He puts it on a spot. Only need one hand. Juice Wells Jr. secures it with the second. That is a phenomenal catch to, hop, to probably put this game away. Hadn't, hadn't said his name that much today, but Juice Wells coming up big. It's never a good sign. Batted into the air and one-handed interception. How about that? Sunteran Perkins. And we will send it back to the CW Football Saturday studio. Mike Ham and Michael Bumpus, 40-6, our final Ole Miss rolls on.